Hi, this is Sue Sheets from Stampin' with Sushi, and I'm here today with a special guest, and I'm going to show you a project that I've been working on for this weekend. And here she is, my special Hello. guest. This is my granddaughter, Gracie, who's here from Tennessee, and we've been having a lot of fun creating some banners for her um, family and their bedrooms um, in Tennessee. So let's get started. So first, we have my brother Braden's. We have my brother Braden's, and the reason I chose orange and black and white is because he's a big fan of the Tennessee Vols football. So I also got him a beaded football to go with it. So there's his. It says Braden to hang above his bedroom, and we got some really thick orange and white string with some black and orange. Next is my brother Nages. He's the older brother. but So the reason I chose his black and um, bleh, black and red is because those are his favorite colors and he has a quilt that matches that. So his colors are like gray and black and then we have some black and then there's some red and silver red and, and white so oh there's also this music sheet pattern that's because he plays the quads and i thought it would just go with it the third one is for me it says keep out because i mean every girl needs to keep out sign um so mine has mermaids and like some polka dotted blue for bubbles and unicorns it's got some sparkles, and so we're going to, I need still need to add on one more, which we're going to show you how to make today. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this paper piercing tool and peel off the top layer of tape, tape and glue um, adhesive strips. You'll tear see, and tear and tape, I mean. So, I'm trying to get the second one off. Oh, you can also use, like, this bone folder to make sure the crease is good. If I can ever get this one up, that would be great. Give me one minute. Okay, so, now that I've got that peeled, let me bone fold it real fast. I've already got this one done. So, next, you're going to... Peel off the ones on this side, which we've already attached to all these. And then there's one, there's also one in the middle, which I'll peel off last. So, ever come off? We came up with the idea of using the paper piercing tool to get the adhesive tape off because it just makes it go better. So, next, you're going to take this one with the sticky strips and line up the edges and I'm gonna have my grandma help me with that because I can't do it you do a fine job but it ends up this is what they look like when they're finished so um, I added some dimensionals to the back of this with a little phrase phrase it says mermaids at play so keep out mermaids at play and what I'm going to do is, oh, I also took this white thing and I attached it to the oval and I put a mermaid and seahorse to just add some decoration. So I'm taking, I'm just taking off the paper for the adhesive uh, dimensional stuff things. And now I'm going to attach it to the middle. And that's how you make it. It's actually, and so it's. Keep out mermaids at play, and I'm attaching mine with string. So that was um, what we'd spent our last night doing. It was great fun working together. Mm -hmm. And come back again for another Stamping with Sushi video. Happy stamping. Bye.